Hey, it's Joe from Tony's Tech, and today I want to go over how you can make a bootable Ubuntu USB drive with a Chromebook. Specifically, make a bootable Ubuntu USB drive with the Chromebook recovery utility. To do this, you're going to need a few things. A Chromebook, obviously. A USB drive, preferably one that is not an older SanDisk USB drive. I have generally found that the Chromebook recovery utility struggles a lot when dealing with older SanDisk USB drives for some reason, so avoid those. Anything from a non-SanDisk brand or a more recent SanDisk USB drive should work for this. For this video, I'm using a USB drive from PNY. Uh, it's a 32 gigabyte one and a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Now this may be optional depending on the kind of ports that are on your specific Chromebook, but if your Chromebook only comes with the USB-C ports, it's you're probably gonna need one of these. Caution, two things that I actually want to warn you about before we go on to the actual tutorial bit of the video. One, the steps I will be demonstrating in the video today will wipe whatever USB drive you use. So if you intend to follow along with the tutorial in the video, then make sure that the USB drive you use doesn't have any important files on it. And if it does, make sure to back up those files before you go through the steps because once again, the steps I will demonstrate here will wipe the USB drive. Two, I'll go into this a little bit more later on in the video, but the steps I'm gonna be demonstrating here today is probably going to be the least preferable way to make an Ubuntu USB drive. So if there are other options like using Rufus or Etcher on a Windows PC to make an Ubuntu USB drive, I think it is better to utilize those tools than to actually use the Chromebook recovery utility to make an Ubuntu USB drive. Just getting that out there first, it's better to utilize those other options if you have them than it is to make an Ubuntu USB drive with the method that I'm about to go over. With that out of the way, let's get started. Start by downloading the Ubuntu image file from the Ubuntu website. A link to this page will be found in the description box, but you could easily get to the page with a quick Google search. For the sake of this demonstration, I will be downloading the image file for Ubuntu 25.04. Next, if you haven't already, download the Chromebook Recovery Utility. It will be downloaded and installed as an extension. Link to this page is also in the description box. Once the Chromebook Recovery Utility has been installed, open the Files app in Chrome OS. Then navigate over to the Downloads folder, or whichever folder you downloaded the Ubuntu image file to. Once at the folder, select the Ubuntu image file and rename it. Specifically, change the .iso extension of the file to .bin. After the change to the file extension has been made, insert the USB drive that you want to turn into an Ubuntu USB drive into the Chromebook. I hate to sound like a broken clock, but I do feel it is necessary to warn you once again that the steps that I will then be demonstrating from here will wipe whatever is on the USB drive. So make sure to back up any important files if there are any on the USB drive that you're trying to use here. Once the Chromebook has detected the USB drive, open up the Chromebook recovery utility. Click get started and then click on the gears icon found in the upper right corner of the Chromebook recovery utility. This should lead to a drop down menu that looks like this. Select Use Local Recovery Image. This should open up a files window that will let you select the recently renamed Ubuntu image file. From there, you'll get to the screen with the words, insert your USB flash drive or SD card. Select the USB drive you have plugged into the Chromebook here. Click Continue and you'll be led to a screen that says, create a recovery image. Select Create Now and let the recovery utility take care of the rest. The process should take a few minutes to complete. Once the Chromebook recovery utility is done creating the Ubuntu USB drive, you'll reach a screen that says, success, your recovery image is ready. At this point, you should technically be able to pull out the USB drive from the Chromebook, but in my experience, it's probably safe to hold off on doing so for one or two minutes after you've gotten the whole success message. It is a little irrational on my part, but I have had bad experiences in the past where unplugging the USB drive immediately after getting the success message just corrupts the USB drive for some reason. It would be more ideal if I could go into the Chrome OS file manager and eject the USB drive properly, but for whatever reason, once you go through the Chromebook recovery utility process with the USB drive, it doesn't get detected in the file manager again until you unplug and replug back into the Chromebook. It feels like a glitch or flaw with Chrome OS here and it's something that I wish Chrome OS will eventually get around to fixing or doing something about just because I've ran into way too many situations where I'll make a Chromebook recovery USB drive and I'll unplug it and then I'll 
find using it and it just won't work because I've accidentally corrupted it without realizing it. Either way though, for the time being, in my experience, the safest thing you can do is wait one or two minutes after getting the success message with the recovery utility and then unplug the USB drive. And that's it. Now you should have a bootable Ubuntu USB drive that will work with most modern computers. I say most because this method of creating a bootable Ubuntu USB drive is flawed. Before I get to that though, let me explain why the method that I just described works. As you probably have realized, the Chromebook recovery utility is not really designed with this use case in mind. The Chromebook recovery utility is designed to do two things. One, download a Chrome OS image file that'll work with your model of Chromebook. This image file is often in the .bin file format. Two, do a raw copy of the Chrome OS image file onto a USB flash drive to create a Chromebook recovery USB drive. So when we use the Chromebook recovery utility to make an Ubuntu USB drive, what we're essentially doing is we're tricking the recovery utility into doing a raw copy of the Ubuntu image file onto the USB drive and we trick it by renaming the Ubuntu image file from the .iso format to .bin. Because Chrome OS image files tend to come in the .bin file format, the Chromebook recovery utility will only recognize files with the .bin and .zip file formats and ignore files with any other type of file extension. And by asking the recovery utility to then use the renamed Ubuntu file to make a recovery USB drive, we're essentially tricking the Chromebook recovery utility into thinking it's dealing with a locally downloaded Chrome OS image file. And once tricked, the Chromebook recovery utility will do a raw copy of the Ubuntu image file onto the selected USB drive. So that's generally how you're able to get this to work in the first place. The big flaw or disadvantage with this method stems from the capabilities of the Chromebook recovery utility or lack thereof. See, the Ubuntu ISO is in the ISO hybrid ISO format. It's a unique kind of format that ensures that the Ubuntu USB drive will be compatible with booting on both traditional BIOS legacy systems as well as modern UEFI systems. Or to put it more simply, it's an image file that's been customized to be bootable in two different ways or with two different systems. A more traditional bootable USB drive making tool like Rufus or Etcher, can recognize when it's dealing with an ISO hybrid file and will write the image file onto the USB drive in a way that will ensure that it will both be bootable on legacy systems as well as modern UEFI systems. Do stuff like verifying the boot flag and confirming the partition configurations. The Chromebook recovery utility though, does not have those abilities or it certainly does not have those abilities when it comes to non Chrome OS related image files. And of course it doesn't. It's a tool meant to be used with Chrome OS image files. It knows all about configuring things properly for Chrome OS related USB drives, but doesn't know anything more than that. So when we trick the Chromebook recovery utility into making an Ubuntu USB drive, it does it in the only way it knows how, which is to write the Ubuntu USB drive in the same way it would with a Chrome OS image file. And this means that steps that need to get done when making a proper Ubuntu USB drive either get skipped or are done improperly when done with the Chromebook recovery utility. With the Chromebook recovery utility being unable to properly verify boot flags or confirm partition configurations, uh, we end up in this really weird situation where the Ubuntu USB drive that you make with the Chromebook recovery utility is not compatible with all systems and specifically not compatible with older systems that use the more traditional legacy BIOS. Older traditional BIOS tend to use the boot flag found on bootable USB drives to be able to identify the partition containing the bootloader. If it can't identify the boot flag, it doesn't know that the USB drive is a bootable one. If it cannot identify the boot flag, the system will not boot into the USB drive and you can get a boot flag error. And that's the exact issue that people have run into when trying to use Ubuntu USB drives that have been created with the Chromebook recovery utility. That's not to say that the Ubuntu USB drive created with this method is unusable. It does tend to work with modern UEFI systems. Newer systems that use UEFIs for booting do not tend to rely on the boot flag in the way that a traditional BIOS does. Instead, it relies on EFI system partition or ESP, which contains an EFI bootloader. As long as the UEFI can identify the ESP on the USB drive, it'll be able to boot into it even if the boot flag hasn't been properly set up on the USB drive. 
Because the ESP is a part of the Ubuntu image file and the Chromebook recovery utility essentially does copies everything in the image file onto the USB drive when it does the raw copying, uh, the ESP can be found on the Ubuntu USB drive that has been created with the Chromebook recovery utility and as a result is compatible with most sysmodern systems that use UEFI. By the way, if you made an Ubuntu USB drive with this method and are running into the boot flag error, there isn't really anything you can do to fix it, or at least not with the Chromebook recovery utility itself or any of the easily accessible features within Chrome OS. This isn't something you can easily fix. If you run into this problem, I think the best way to solve it is to get access to a Windows computer or some other non-Chrome OS device that can run Rufus, Etcher, or some normal bootable USB drive creator and just remake the Ubuntu USB drive using that, those tools. Uh, that's probably the best way to go about it. As I said at the start of the video, this is probably the least ideal, least preferable way of making an Ubuntu USB drive. What would be preferable though is if you could give this video a like, hopefully you'd learn something from the video, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.